Hey Church, welcome to this week's episode of Theology Thursday. Today we're going to look at the knowability of God, or put it in question form, can we really know God? In our last episode of Theology Thursday, we briefly looked at the existence of God. But if God, if God does exist, the question is, can we know him at all? Like if he exists, can we actually know him, get to know him? So we'll start from this premise. If we are to know God at all, it is up to him to reveal himself to us. And thankfully, this is exactly what we see happening. So in Romans chapter 1, we looked at this uh, last week and the week before, Paul develops the idea that theologians, uh, the idea that theologians call general revelation. And here's what Paul says in Romans 1, 19 to 20. Since what can be known about God is evident among them, because God has shown it to them, for his invisible attributes, that is, his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly seen since the creation of the world, being understood through what he has made. As a result, people are without excuse. In other words, through creation, as we talked about last week as well, we can see that God exists and we can learn general things about him. And we've seen the many attempts at interpreting this general revelation resulting in wrong beliefs about God, haven't we? All the false religions in the world are evidence of the fact that God has generally revealed himself, but sinful people, in trying to interpret this revelation, have failed. That is, they have failed when they haven't been guided by his word, by scripture. So thankfully for us, God didn't stop at general revelation. He has specially revealed himself to us through scripture. And we need scripture to guide us in rightly interpreting his general revelation. So at the beginning, can we really know God? I'd say yes. And the only reason is because he has chosen to reveal himself to us. But while we can know God, we can never fully understand God. So Psalm 147.5 says this, Our Lord is great, vast in power. His understanding is infinite. See, God is infinite and we are finite. So immediately, the gap between him and what is to be known about him and our capacities to know that much about him is enormous. Psalm 145.3 says this, The Lord is great and is highly praised. His greatness is unsearchable. So not only can we not fully understand God, we can also not fully understand any one thing about God. Psalm 145.3 says we can't fully understand his greatness. Psalm 147.5 says we can't fully understand his understanding. Psalm 139.6 says we can't fully understand his knowledge. Romans 11.33 says we can't fully understand his riches, his wisdom, his judgments, or his ways. But here's the important truth. We can, know truly, we can truly know God, but we can't fully know God. Let me say that again. We can truly know God, but we can't fully know God. 1 John 4, 8 tells us that God is love. We truly know this, is, this about God. He is love, but we fully don't, don't fully understand it. Romans 3, 26 says that God is righteous. We truly know this about God, but we don't fully understand it. God says this in Jeremiah 9, 23 to 24. This is what God says. This is what the Lord says. The wise person should not boast in his wisdom. The strong should not boast in his strength. The wealthy should not boast in his wealth. But the one who boasts should boast in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, showing faithful love, justice, and righteousness on the earth, for I delight in these things. This is the Lord's declaration. You see, the greatest joy and the greatest purpose we have is in knowing God. We can truly know him because he has revealed himself to us. I mean, think about this, though. There will never be a time when you know too much about God. Getting to know God is a bottomless well of refreshment. You can't get to the bottom. As you speak to God in prayer and as you listen to him speak to you through his word, as you commune with him and you sing to him and remind yourself that through Jesus, the Holy Spirit indwells you, you know, we get to know God, not just in facts about him, but we get to know him on a relational level. Now, will we ever understand and know everything about him? No, but thanks be to him that we can truly know him. Thanks for joining me on this third episode of Theology Thursday. I'll see you on the next one where we'll look at the doctrine of the Trinity. Peace.